Hi, kindergartners. I wonder if you've been seeing any ladybugs out and about in your neighborhood, on the plants around, or maybe even in your house. Well, I wanted to read you a book, an information book, by Mia Basala called Ladybugs. F red, fiery, and bright. Ladybugs, red, fiery, and bright. Little round beetles with red coats and black spots crawl through gardens and trees and on flowers in pots. They are ladybugs. Did you know ladybugs are beetles? They are. A crawling ladybug tickles your arm but this little insect will cause you no harm. They are busy searching for food to eat. Tiny green insects called aphids are sweet. Ooh, my finger was almost covering an aphid. Those aphids must be really small because we know how small a ladybug is. A ladybug may flee in fear from a hungry bird landing near. But eating a ladybug is a waste. To birds, they have a terrible taste. When a female ladybug has eggs to be laid, she finds a safe place on a leaf in the shade. Notice how she lays those eggs in a cluster and they all sort of stick together. They're not round like other insect eggs. They are ovals. Isn't that interesting? She lays a whole cluster of them at the same time. In five days, the yellow eggs will turn white. The hatching day is now in sight. Tiny creatures crawl out from the white creamy eggs. They have hairy gray, gray bodies and long skinny legs. They are called larvae. One is a larva. More than one are larvae. Hungry larvae search for food right away. They can eat 100 aphids a day. A larva's skin cannot stretch, and since this is so, it must shed its old skin in order to grow. The skin splits apart, the larva wriggles free. Its new larger skin fits more comfortably. Do you notice how they kind of change colors too once they shed their skin or molt? See on this page, they were more gray with a little bit of yellow. And as they grow, they really change color. They don't look much like a ladybug, do they? In this stage of their life cycle, they really don't, but they will. When a ladybug larva is almost full grown, it attaches itself to a plant or a stone it molts one last time, the skin it outgrew, and when it emerges, it has become something new. It is a pupa. The pupa is covered by a tough orange skin. It hides the changes taking place within. Its worm-like body is rounding out. Its coat becomes smooth tiny wings sprout all inside the hard shell of the pupa. In five days, the pupa's shell starts to crack. A beetle crawls out with no spots on its back. So can you believe that this is actually the ladybug? 
crawling out of the pupa. It has no spots and often it's not the same color it is when it's an adult. This one's yellow, but watch what happens. Soon black, spot, soon black spots come into sight. The yellow coat turns red, fiery and bright. The new ladybug spreads its wings out to dry. A few hours pass and it's able to fly. A ladybug can fly the same day that it hatches out of the pupa. Isn't that amazing? Also, I'm gonna tell you something about the spots. A lot of people think that the spots say how old the ladybug is, but that's not true. The spots simply show what kind of ladybug it is. And some have red shells and some have different color shells. Its spotted wing covers move off to the sides. It beats its wings and away it glides. So these are hard outer wings that protect the flying wings, these softer wings. These are called the elytra, and these inner wings are the flying wings. They're much thinner, and they're what make the ladybug fly. The new ladybugs with red, co red coats and black spots crawl through gardens and trees and on flowers in pots. So here are some different ladybugs. Take a look at this one. This one's called a eyed ladybug. Don't those all look like eyes? That's a defense so predators will think that it's a much bigger creature than it is with all those eyes. And this one is a 10 spotted ladybug. Do you notice it has 10 spots but it's also yellow? Oh my goodness. And here, this one is called Rodalia cardinalis. And look at that, it's kind of half black and half red. And this one I have definitely seen in Albany. This is called a two-spotted ladybug. And it's black with red spots. Often we think of them as red with black spots. But as I said, there are a lot of different types. Here's the ash gray ladybug. Kind of a blue gray, isn't it beautiful? And then here is the seven spotted ladybug. That's a little bit more common around here. But keep your eyes open, entomologists, you might see some. An entomologist is someone who studies insects like you. Here's a diagram of a ladybug. Those are those hard coverings, the shell covering that's called the elytra. Here are the soft flying wings. And like all insects, a ladybug has a head, a thorax, and a long abdomen. It also has six legs that are jointed, it has antenna, and eyes. Not all insects have wings, but a lot do. And a ladybug has two sets. I hope you've enjoyed. Ladybugs, now go out in your neighborhood and see if you can find some.